Hi, everybody. I'm Dave from the Polyped team, and I'm excited to share with you our Polyped updates for May 2024. You may recall in March of 2024, we added advanced validation options for drop zones. Go check out the March video to learn all about making polypads with validation options. Here is one example that I shared in the March video. And you'll see that I can drag the polygons into the spots that I think are correct. I can click check to get some feedback. What's new in May is in addition to dragging and dropping tiles into drop zones, we now have the ability to click a tile and then click a drop zone to send that tile to that drop zone. So this is not the Pentagon, but notice now I can click on the Pentagon. If I click somewhere on the canvas that's not a Pentagon, the tile becomes deselected. But if I click on the Pentagon and then click on a drop zone, it sends the tile to that drop zone. So I can check that one now. Oh, that looks great. This one, I'm going to click on the tile and then click on the drop zone to send the tile to the drop zone. And again, as always, I, I can drag and drop. I can use the arrows on the keyboard to move them around, or I can click and then click on the drop zone and see that I have them all correct. So that, that new ability to click on a tile and then click a drop zone to send it to the drop zone is what's new in May. Um, to learn more about all of these features, both validating and using Click to Stick, you can find full documentation on our authoring tutorial page. So to find that when you're on Polypad, you can click on the Help tab. I'm in the What's New section which is always a good place to check to find out what's, what's new on Polypad. But I'm going to go to the authoring mode section. Here's authoring mode. And here's an overview of authoring mode. But the full documentation is on a separate page, uh, our authoring mode tutorial. So I'm going to click that to open this in a new window. You can see it's got a little bit of an intro and then links to all these pages about authoring mode. To learn how to validate this page uh, that's called using the input field and drop zone tile is what you would want to read. I'm going to open this one. And all of the validation happens inside of a drop zone tile. So you can read all about how to add the drop zone tile to the canvas, choosing from the three different types of validation we have match, cover, and compare validation. Here's a link to that polypad that I shared. Again, all of this was covered in the March video, so I'm not going to uh, talk too much about validation here. You can go read about how to validate. Here's a compare example, and here's a cover example. But at the very bottom of this are links to all the other authoring mode pages, including a new one on using drag and drop and click to place which is new in May. So I'm going to open this page. And as I talked about, there's three ways now to get tiles into drop zones. Drag and drop, arrow keys, those are new, but there's new this new option to click to place. I'm going to go back to Polypad for a moment and uh, reload this page. And what I just want to show you that's new, I'm not going to go through an entire authoring example, but if I go back into authoring mode and I select these four tiles, one of the new options in authoring mode is stay in drop zone. So if I go outside of authoring mode right now, these tiles I could put anywhere on the canvas, right? I could cover the text. I could put it behind the checks, the checkbox. I could cover this text. There's this new option where I could put these four tiles in a drop zone. Then in authoring mode, I could turn on this toggle of stay in drop zone. And then the user can only move those tiles to a drop zone. So I'm going to show you some examples of that on our tutorial page. So let me go back to this page. And I'll just talk through some of the examples that you see on the page here. So here I'm turning on that toggle, stay in drop zone. And now what you'll notice when I click to stick, the tiles will go back into the drop zone. But when you try to move one outside of a drop zone, 
it'll go back into that drop zone at the bottom. Uh, but you still can can use the arrow keys to move a tile in and out of a drop zone. Uh, so that's a really nice feature to be able to use. Here, if, if the tiles are not set to stay in drop zone and you replace a tile in a drop zone with a different one, the tile will get moved above the drop zone. So you can see here when that quadrilateral is being replaced with the pentagon, the quadrilateral moves above the drop zone because it's not set to stay in drop zone. But uh, if the tiles are set to stay in drop zone, then when it gets replaced, that tile goes back to the drop zone that it came from. So you can see in this example here, as I'm moving tiles in and out of the drop zone, instead of going above it, they're always going back to the drop zone at the bottom of the canvas. So that's a nice option for authors to use to be able to really control where tiles can go in these, in these matching activities. Um, just to show it how to get to this page one more time in case you're interested in learning about all of these options. When you're on Polypad, uh, you can click on the question mark to open our tutorial section in the sidebar. We have all these categories in the tutorial to learn about any tile, but to find that page, you would click on authoring mode. And then this link right here will take you to our overview tutorial page about authoring mode that has links to all those sub pages. And the one that is new in May of 2024 is this page using drag and drop and click to place to send tiles to drop zones. So hope you find these new features helpful. Would love to see what you create with these. Please share activities across any of our social media channels or in the comments of this video. Thanks for watching.